Welcome to Power's Precious Snakes. I'm Sierra, and this is Ash. Ash is an Apalachicola, Lowlands Kingsnake. He was sold to me, however, as a Florida Kingsnake. After doing a little bit of research, I learned that Florida Kingsnakes all have banding. And one thing I noticed about him is he has no banding whatsoever. He almost has no pattern except for the gradient yellow to black on his scales. He has this black sort of striped belly, which I thought was cool. And so I that's why I did the research. And I found that the species he looks most similar to, almost exactly alike, and it's possible for these species to be patternless are Apalachicola lowlands kingsnake. The scientific name for these snakes is Lampropeltis gachula miensi. I am not sure if I pronounced that correctly, but it's my best attempt. These snakes are native to Florida, so that may have been why they sold him to me as a Florida kingsnake. He is a year old, and most king snakes will get between four to six feet. However, six feet is more uncommon. Most will reach five feet as the maximum. They, if kept properly, can live over 20 years. They are diurnal, which means that they are active during the day, which you can see. This guy is very active. Nothing like a ball python. Ball pythons are not this active. One great thing about king snakes is their food response. They are very unlikely to refuse a meal. In fact, the store I got him from was feeding him live hopper mice. And the day after I got him was his scheduled feeding day. And I fed him two fuzzy mice and he ate them immediately. So that was awesome. For adults, you're going to need at least a 40 gallon enclosure. As I mentioned, this guy's a year old, but I still have him in a 40 gallon enclosure. Bigger is always better, so if you could get more than a 40 gallon enclosure, that would be awesome. That'd be great, because the more space that they have, I feel the happier they might be. Currently have him on cocoa fiber substrate mixed with a little bit of sphagnum moss. I have about two or three inches of this substrate, which he is loving because he loves to burrow. Some people say that king snakes show semi semi arboreal behavior. However, I have not noticed this in him particularly. He has not climbed one bit. He is very much a terrestrial snake at this point in his life. He might develop uh, different behaviors later on. I am not sure. Whenever they get defensive, um, they're nervous or threatened, they will show signs of frustration or being scared by rattling their tail or shaking it. This one likes to do it up against the side of the enclosure and uh, it, it makes a loud rattling or fast tapping noise. King snakes may also musk, which is not a very pleasant experience. Their musk does smell different from a garter snake's musk. However, both are extremely foul smelling. But he's only musked on me about three or four times. I've been handling him more lately and he hasn't musked on me since, which is awesome. That's amazing. So I'm very happy about that. I use a heat lamp for him um, and I keep it on a 10 hour cycle. I do have a timer for all of my lamps um, and so they all turn on at around 7.30 or 8 and they turn off at 6 p.m. So roughly 10 hours. 
Another really cool thing about king snakes, especially this one, and you may not find this in every king snake, but I did find this in this one, is the iridescence in their scales. Kind of difficult to see, but right there. I don't know if y'all can see that very well, but it is definitely there. And it's something really cool to look at. I think this is a beautiful snake. I had to put Ash away because he did poop on me. And uh, at, at one point he thought my hand was food. Keep watching um, for bloopers if you want to see that. But anyway, uh, thank you all for watching. Um, if you like the video, go ahead and hit that like button and go ahead and subscribe if you want to see more. If you have any ideas for future videos that you want me to do, uh, go ahead and drop that in the comments below and I'll see y'all next time. It was originally sold to me as a Florida king snake, which, uh-oh, they have an excellent food response.